community forum was held at New Jerusalem Church with one main topic of discussion, Capitol Police. We are not against the Capitol Police. We're not against policing. We are for proper policing and good policing. Several residents claim they've had unpleasant run-ins with officers from the department. There's no way that they got it. They so claim they was after a shot into my apartment. There's no way that he did. The Capitol Police shot me. The Capitol Police didn't show me no kind of respect. The only person that showed me respect was Jackson PD, but Capitol did not. They treated me like I was a piece of trash. The family of Jalen Lewis, the man who was shot and killed by Capitol Police in September, also spoke out. His sister rushed to the crime scene when she found out her brother had been shot. I was handcuffed at night for trying to record what they had going on. Um, the man claimed that, the handcuff me claimed that it was because I was standing in the middle of the intersection and that it was for my safety, which I don't believe. While the overall goal for elected officials and Jackson's police chief is to make the capital city safer, they believe there should be more accountability and transparency from the recently expanded law enforcement agency. To best serve a community, you must understand the community that you serve. And we must be transparent so that we can avoid meetings such as this. I told you what we would do if it was a JPD. This is a different circumstance and it is a bit more troubling because we don't have direct responsibility or any sphere of influence over the Capitol Complex Police. My prayer is that we will continue to hold our legislatures accountable to make sure we have accountability in our communities. Pastor Dwayne Pickett says Capitol Police have agreed to meet with him and other community leaders and says he plans to take all of the concerns from this forum to the Capitol Police Chief. In Jackson, Leah Williams, 12 News.